Sean Pierce Johnson here with a second in the series of guitars that I have co-designed with Jose Ramos and Ramos Guitars, the Kev Star Deluxe. Now, at your first glance, you can probably tell what exactly this guitar starts as, but there's some very cool touches that make this way more than just your standard slab electric guitar. So let's take a look at it in depth and go over the specs. First off, the body is a very interesting take on that classic shape. Instead of being a full-on slab, you have a bit of an offset waist to it, which brings it into the 21st century. A lot of people seem to be really into offsets right now, so uh, even if you're of the jag or jazz type player, this one might be something you might want to take a look at. But the body also has some nice curves to it. A nice tummy cut for those of us with a little bit of a gut, and it's a walnut body, a very different kind of tone wood. You don't see many guitars made with a walnut body these days. You get a European flame maple top and a really cool two-tone tobacco sunburst, and it is just a very stellar flame on this. I just, I love being able to look at it under the right light, and when the sun catches it, you can really see how deep the flame is. You have a European flame maple neck, that's right, flame maple on the neck, with a bird's eye maple fingerboard and your classic black dot inlays. Now, with this neck, you have a 25 and a half inch scale with 22 frets, because why did they make 21 fret necks in the beginning? I don't know, beats me. But it's not your typical F style neck. It's a little wider, the fingerboard's a little flatter. So that means you can very well do your classic bluesy country chicken picking kind of thing. But you can also get a little bit more shreddy with it and feel very, very comfortable. Six Goto inline tuners hold things together very well. And though they look vintage style, they're actually locking tuners which is a very cool marriage of vintage and modern technology. Now, going to the electronics, you have a single volume knob, single tone knob, and a three-way pickup selector. And Jose has hand-wound these pickups himself, your classic Tele-style bridge pickup, and a humbucker-sized P90 in the neck position, which uh, I really dig and has a nice wooly sound. And then you have a Wilkinson 3 brass saddle bridge, a very classic Telecaster accoutrement, if you will. So it's got some very classic features, but some modern touches that bring it into this new century. So we've talked about the specs. I think it's time that we listen to some tones. We're going to go for cleans and distortion sounds, and we're going to have some fun with some effects as well. So here we go. Let's check out the Kevstar Deluxe. <laughs> listen to the dirty sounds.
both the bridge and neck pickup sound very, very nice. They're a little bit less hot than your typical modern Tele pickups, and they have their own character to them. With the bridge pickup, you maintain that really cool spanky clarity that you're normally used to. But, of course, that spank is amplified even more by throwing on some compression. Classic country. What more could you want? Now, I actually like cleans in the middle position. I feel like these two pickups go really well together to get you just a little bit more chime and a little bit more jangle for that kind of nifty uh, rockabilly kind of sound. Very early rock and roll. <laughs> there's a lot of magic in this P90 pickup. Now, P90 pickups are typically a little wooly, but I kind of like that, and then making that even more wooly by rolling back the tone knob. You can almost get a bit of a jazzy sound out of this guitar. Not something you would expect to find, unless you're a Mike Stern fan. Now, jazz is great, blues is awesome, country is a ton of fun to play, if you can play well. But I'm a rock guy first and foremost, and I just love a good guitar that I can riff on. <laughs> Now the secret to a Telecaster style guitar, especially with that classic bridge pickup, is using the tone knob and just ever so subtly rolling it back. You still get the clarity that you like from the bridge pickup, but it shaves off those harsh highs that you normally associate with those particular pickups. <laughs> back the tone knob helps that sound go from being thin to a little bit more meaty. Now it also comes in really handy for warming up your high strings so that, you know, when you take a solo you're not tearing people's ears off. <laughs> So on the pedal board, I've switched to the main bank that I use when I play live. 
same exact settings. And I'm going to use about the same settings on my rocker verb that I use as well. And I'm going to play around with the Kev Star just so that you guys can get an idea of how I like to use it. <laughs> That is the Kevstar Deluxe from Ramos Guitars. I had a blast coming up with this design. I was really trying to get something that married a vintage aesthetic with a modern playability and modern features for a guitar player like myself who's of the hard rock school to be able to pick it up, make music, and have a great time. And I think that Jose has really outdone himself with this one. I'm very happy that it exists. However, it's not going to be part of my collection. It can be part of yours. There's a Reverb.com link in the description below with pictures and more information on this particular Kevstar if you'd like to add it to your arsenal. And until next time, my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, and I wish you all great tone and happy stomping. Cheers.